gonna level up, level up, level up. You gonna level up. Good evening, Impact! I'm so glad that you guys are joining us tonight, like we always do on a Tuesday night. So we are so excited because tonight we are going to continue with our ministry program. Remember, Impact is a place where we come together on Tuesday nights to get trained so that we can serve on a Sunday morning by ministering to the rest of the kids' church. Now, as we know that at this moment we don't have Sunday services, but we can still prepare and we can still get ready because I want you to join me right here if you've prepared something really great to come and join me and to share with the rest of Impact on the Air Acts Online and we can connect with them. So don't think that you can, you're going to miss out on ministering and learning a skill at church. We are going to continue with that. And that's why we have the ministry program going. So thank you so much for joining tonight. We're going to continue. And I just quickly want to ask all of you that's joining us tonight, ask your parents to just help you. And I want you to comment below. How are you doing? Let us know. Send us an emoji of, are you doing all right? Are you a little bit sad? Are you a little bit tired? Are you frustrated staying home? Are you motivated? Just send us a little picture, a little emoji. Just getting, just letting us know how are you doing. We would love to hear from you guys. And, um, and then we're going to go ahead with our ministry program. Now I just want to recap on the four things that we're going to build on under our ministry program, our theme. The four points are first we're going to get a Bible verse. We're going to get a praise and worship song together. We're going to get a word and then we're going to focus on ministry and prayer. All right. So I asked you guys last week, if you want to, let me know if you have a theme. Because remember last week we prayed together, even right here we prayed and we trusted God to share with us if there is a theme that we need to prepare and focus on. And I had quite a few, so I want to just quickly share that. A few people actually shared with me what is their ideas that they believe they received from God as a theme to prepare their ministry program. So I had here, Bongi said her theme will be no fear. Ramona said, obey God. James, his theme was armor of God. What a great theme. And if you guys are joining us on Sunday afternoons, four o'clock, we are actually dealing with that theme, armor of God. So join us Sunday afternoons, 4 p.m. And we're going to share on that. Then Abigail, she actually said her theme will be healing. Hmm. Ria said faith. And then Kyle also said that and he said his theme will be perseverance. And then Teresa, she said her theme will be patience. Hmm, that's quite interesting. So tonight, we're going to continue with this. But before we do, I actually love to share with you just what we're going to do with our ministry program. And I'm going to do that using this lovely orange. Now, what I love the most about winter time or when it gets cold is you get a lot of oranges. Now, if you like oranges, give me a like, comment below, because this is something that we really enjoy. So when we get to the ministry program, we're going to first get a theme like we did last week. And some of you still keep on sharing your theme. We want to hear what is your theme that you're going to build your ministry program around. So our theme would be like this orange. Our theme is orange. That is our theme. We've got it. We've got our theme. And now we're going to unpack our theme. We're going to unpack it and make it nice and juicy and fun and, um, and enjoyable for others. So I'm going to quickly just unpack my orange. Now, this is a way my grandmother actually taught me how to peel an orange. So I'm going to just show you guys also, maybe some of you do that already, but um, just to how to quickly peel an orange. Actually, we have so much time on our hands, we can just, you know, just pull it down like that. But this is so easy, so I just cut not all the way through, just the skin part, 
and then look how easy this is oh. I know a lot of people don't eat oranges just because it's such a mission to peel it all right so here we go a nice way to peel your orange okay so there we have our theme going and this is quite important all right we have we just want to know what are we going to enjoy what are we going to give the people and that is our theme we're going to give them just for an example an orange all right but then we open it and we see what is inside this orange what are what are we actually going to give other people what are they going to eat from my ministry program so we break it down. Oh, I, I'm so tempted. I have to. Mm -hmm. This is a nice juicy one. So then we unpack this theme. And we, we go and do a little bit of research. And we pray. And then we end up just knowing exactly. Like I'm going to exactly tell you what this orange tastes like. It is juicy, it is sweet, and it's big. It's got quite a few of these. All right, so we are unpacking our program so that when we say to someone, I'm going to give you an orange today, they are going to receive an orange through our ministry program. So we're going to focus on the theme. And, um, and I actually like Teresa's suggestion. She said her theme for her ministry program will be patience. And I thought, hmm, I think we are actually being tested in our patience during this time. Um, not being able to go where we want to, do what we want to, go visit our friends. We have to wait. So I thought I'll do a little test with my three little children. And so you can watch this video. I made a little video of them without them knowing just to see if I can test their patience. So enjoy the next video. you guys enjoyed that that was quite fun for me to to look at them and I don't know if you saw in the video they were actually the whole time looking at the door trying to see if I'm coming back and um, I'm actually a little bit proud of them they did quite well they waited <laughs> all the time except for the little one so um so yeah our theme that we're just gonna focus on and just for an example gonna unpack um, is gonna be Patience. So that is our, our theme. Now, when we want to make it a bit easier, 
we're going to take our theme and we're going to explain it like the word patience. It's such an interesting word, but for you in back 30s that are three, four, five, six, or seven years old, what does patience really mean? It's quite a difficult word to explain. So I think just to make it easy, I will say patience is like waiting. We have to wait and wait. And who of you enjoy waiting? Just think about it. It's really not an easy thing. And then what do we do while we are waiting? Some of you remember how you had to wait for your school transport? Maybe before school or after school and it was winter and it was cold and you had to wait. Some of us had to wait for our parents. You know, they said, I'm going to give you a chocolate because you did so well. And then we had to wait until they give it to us. So there are so many times in our lives that we have to wait. And I think also God makes us wait sometimes. And in that time of waiting, there's a lot of things being formed in our lives. And the way we behave, the way we speak, the way we react to people. So in the waiting, what do we do? And I think that's what I enjoyed when I made that little video with the little ones. What did they do while they waited? They focused on those tumbles, you know, because they know that is what they're gonna get. And one of them were actually like, they didn't focus on the gumballs because it just makes it more difficult. Let me rather focus on the door. When is mommy coming back? And the other one was focused on making sure nobody else touches the gumballs. So every one of us waits in a different way. So what we're gonna do for the next few weeks, we're going to unpack our ministry program on the theme Patience. And I'm going to help you to also prepare your ministry program. Remember, this is your ministry program. You are putting something great together that you can share with others. And I'm excited to do that with you. So get ready. If you want to get a little notebook or a big piece of paper where you can also write down, go do this. Go make a little circle. Write down your theme. What is your theme? My theme is no fear or patience. Then write it in here. And then just make these four lines and we're going to get going. So from next week, we're going to focus on our Bible verse. How to get a Bible verse and then also how to teach that Bible, Bible verse to other people. Alrighty, so I'm very excited about that. Get ready for next week. And remember, if you haven't sent your theme ideas, please send it to us. We would love to hear from you guys. We are so excited about this ministry program. And remember to eat your oranges, stay safe, stay home. And we love and really, 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 really miss you guys so much. We'll see you next week, Tuesday night. Bless you guys. We're gonna level up.